Hey, it's me, MLB. This is a one shot that was requested months ago, if not last year, and it was caught in my brain. I'm always up for a challenge. So after having a very good think about this request, I thought I'd give it a shot. This is a Nomu Izuku ex female listener one shot. And yes, I'm aware that technically Nomus are made up from corpses, but this is kind of special case i guess this creature is more like a chimera than anything else but hopefully it will make sense as the story unfolds anyway let's get started this one shot is titled saved part one enjoy your job was a tough one well one of a kind type of job you were a vet but no ordinary vet you worked to rehabilitate animals that had been fused in experiments gone wrong or worse in experiments gone right as some sick people would say Across the country, there were many illegal labs that were using quirks to create new quirks, potentate quirks, make hybrid quirks and give animals quirks, or use humans to make animal quirks. It was early on a Wednesday morning that you got a call from your superior and he seemed a little shook up. This is an early call, you commented when you picked up. Good morning, Dr. Yin. Uh, we have intercepted a group who have been selling hybrid animals to zoos, your superior said. Yes, you asked, already thinking that they wanted you to use your quirk to separate the animals back to their original forms. Yes, and uh, there's one here that needs very special attention, he added nervously. How so? you asked. Well, there appears to be humans uh, bred into this one, or the base is human, he said, and you could feel the creeps in his voice. It was spooky enough working with hybrid animals, but there was just something next level about the ones who had been bred or mixed with human. How do you know? Does it speak? Does it look human? You asked, trying to get a reading on the situation. It talks, barely. Intelligence is low, but it understands, he stated. Dangerous? You asked. It wasn't unusual for hybrid creatures to be a little deranged. It was almost expected, actually. A lot could go wrong when mixing DNA. Well, it has lion paws, a domesticated cat's ears and nose. We're not 100% sure, but the wings appear to be from a black eagle, and it does contain viper venom from saliva samples that have been taken, although the viper fangs haven't crossed over, unless they're retractable. Mm, great, so I'm dealing with a quadrimamilio sapien chimera, with possible retracting fangs laced with venom? You deadpan. Yes, is this your hardest case yet? Your supervisor asked you. Yes, hands down, yes. I've done difficult splits before, but they've been twin or triplet, where the DNA has merged significantly, but never a quad chimera, with human thrown in there as well. Okay, are you willing to give it a shot? He asked. As you know, more than three mix is technically a nomu, so by law, euthanasia is... I know, I know it's preferred, but let me try, he said quickly. If there's a human in there, I want to save them. Very well. I'll have it shipped to you and should arrive sometime this afternoon, he said with a sigh. <sighs> and Yin? Yes, you asked. If you aren't able to save the human or some of the animals, don't take it personally. It's a doomed procedure, he said gently. He knew how much he cared about every life that was set before you, and in his eyes this one was going to be too hard, and he didn't want you to take the brunt of the failure on your own shoulders. I know. He said softly, feeling the weight of the situation as it rested heavily on your shoulders. But I'm the only one who has a chance of helping, right? You're a good doctor, your supervisor said. Nomu will be over soon. When asked what its name was, it said something like Izuku. Okay, thanks, he said, turning around and getting things ready for when your patient would arrive. I'll let you know how I go. Good luck your supervisor said before hanging up. You sighed and ended the call, then set your sights on what you would need. Two hours later, a government truck pulled up out the front of your surgery and you came out to greet the delivery men. Where do you want it? The guy asked gruffly. Damn thing's heavy, so we had to crane it. Oh, okay, um, I'll get the roller then, you said, then ran back inside to get the roller assist. With a little bit of difficulty, the large wooden box was placed onto the roller and you took a hold of the handle to pull it while thanking the men who had placed it on the tray for you. After saying goodbye to them, you heaved, pulling the box to the door and then through, keeping one eye on the creature inside. It was a little hard to see through the slats, 
but you could hear the occasional animal noise coming from inside, along with the flapping of wings and scratching of paws. To the back of the building you dragged the box, then put the brakes on the roller and grabbed your box of food. Hey, you said gently at the box as you approached it. I'm here to help you. Do you speak? Is your name Izuku? A soft purring came from the other side of the wooden frame, then a small growl that framed a word that sounded like yes. Okay, Izuku, do you remember what happened before you became a Nomu? Were you human? The sound of paws scratching and wings flapping met your ears, and you stepped back a bit fearfully. It's okay, Izuku, don't stress, you said gently. Do you remember what you were? Human, the creature growled out, the word barely audible above the animal sounds. It appears the feline DNA has merged with the vocal cords, but I do believe the base is human you thought. Then you wondered if you should ask the next question, and would the creature answer you truthfully? Um, Izuku, if I let you out, will you hurt me? You asked cautiously. A low growl emitted, and you flinched as the box shook a bit, wings flapping ferociously inside the box. It's okay, Izuku, it's okay. Maybe it would be best if I leave you in the box, just until we've finished the questions, okay? Out! The voice hissed. Out! Out! Izuku, I can't let you out until I know if you're going to hurt me or not. I know you have viper venom mixed into your chimera, and that can be lethal. Hurt! No! Hurt! No! Yes, out! Izuku hissed and growled, the box rattling harder as its emotions got the better of it. Izuku, please calm down, you said gently but with concern, stepping back further until you could reach the tranquilizer gun. As your hand gripped the cold metal casing of the gun, the box suddenly exploded and the Chimera shot up into the air, hovering ominously with its large black wings. You gasped. Izuku was a fearsome sight, but the eyes were definitely human. You quickly turned the gun on Izuku, intending to tranquilize it before it could attack you, but in the blink of an eye it had swooped and smashed the gun from your hand with its large paws, then dropped down onto you, pinning you to the floor. Izuku, please, please, I'm trying to help you. I'm going to help you, don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. Your voice wobbled, fear stricken, eyes large and staring up into Izuku's emerald green ones. Help. Izuku purred softly, water welling up into his eyes and slowly falling down the sides of his little cat nose. Your poor heart was thumping so hard you could barely breathe. I, I, I will, I, I'm going to help you, okay, P please let me up, you asked. Izuku stepped back off you and sat down tucking his wings behind himself as he got up off the floor and cowered back a bit. Um, I... I <clears throat> my name is Yin, Dr. Yin, and I can split Chimera or fused beings, but I need you to know that this is going to be a difficult procedure and you might not make it out, he said truthfully. I will do my absolute best to save you, Izuku, but you'll need to trust me. His little ears flicked forwards, then back, and he nodded his head once. Okay, would you come with me? I need you to lie down on the surgery table for me, so that I can do my job. You slowly started to walk in the direction of your surgery office, and Izuku followed behind. The sounds of the paws on the floor behind you scaring you a bit, but you didn't look back. Into the room you led Izuku, then instructed him to lie down on the bed there, and you placed your hand on his head. Okay. I'm going to put you under now. Sleep well, Izuku, he said gently, then activated your quirk, and he quickly slipped unconscious. And there ends that chapter, but there will be a part two coming next week, so hopefully I'll see you all then.